All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change headset bearings on a dirt bike. And just a quick update on the subscriber KX250. Uh, it's all together. I'm just waiting on some decals. I have to bleed the brakes, which I'll be doing a video on. Um, you can see I skipped a couple steps, a couple videos for you guys to watch, but everything else was pretty straightforward. And uh, one thing I got to do is the tires or underneath the tires, under the rims, they're missing the rim strips. I had an issue with the bead, and I was poking around in there with the tire lever, and you noticed there was no rim strips installed. So these tubes will pop uh, pretty fast. So I have to take everything apart and slap some rim strips on there. All right, so the bearings that we're going to be using in this video come from factory links. We use them in the swing arm and the linkage bearings so make sure to check out those videos I have how to videos uh, if you're interested in doing that so after uh, the headset bearings are done then you know it's pretty much all brand new here okay so I have the forks removed I think I have videos on how to do that but anyway handlebars are handlebars are off forks are out uh, this nut is loose uh, this model has supposed to have a washer under here it's missing so I'll have to order that but just pop the nut off then the top triple tree comes off then you got this uh, spanner style nut usually you can break it loose with by hand okay they do make spanner wrenches for this I don't actually own one but once you pop that off I'm holding this because it'll fall just go ahead and knock it loose and then this is the bearing the tapered bearing and dust seal okay and then there's one down here okay now there is a very expensive special tool that will pull this off I don't have it and I don't plan on buying it another option is you can put this in a press and press this pin out and then deal with the bearing okay but I don't want to do that another option is and it's the option most people will use is they will use a chisel to wedge it in here and work the bearing off little by little I also have an air hammer, but this can get a little crazy. So let's see how we can do this. I'm just going to go gentle. Let's just see if it moves. did ding it up a little bit but man it's going nice I can't really get to it from another angle here but it is moving all right so that's off and I did I did ding it here, so I did goof it. I am officially a hack, um, but <laughs> this probably would have done the same thing, right? But anyway, I'll smooth that out with a file. It's not the end of the world.
Okay, so these parts are vapor blasted. They look amazing as usual. There's my little goof. Uh, you know, aluminum is soft. I probably should have put a little rag under there or something. But anyway, um, I hit it with a stone and it's and it is smooth. So, um, so what's weird is this top triple is painted from the factory, silver paint. Some of these parts, even though they're aluminum, they're painted silver uh, for corrosion protection, you know. So I, I, that's just weird that the top and bottom, you know, this is raw aluminum and this is painted. So anyway, I didn't want to strip the paint off of this, okay? It's in good shape, so I just hit it really light with 20 or 30 PSI and I just blasted and cleaned it up just a little bit, okay? So that's how I'm putting it back together. Okay, so the headset bearings we're going to be using in this uh, video is from Factory Links. Um, they helped me out with the pivot linkage bearings, the swing arm bearings, um, and now this kit here. So huge thanks to them. I'm going to put a link in the video description and in the iCards in the upper right. They make good products, reasonably priced, so check them out. Alright, so we got two seals and two bearing kits, and we have the races as well. So let's go ahead and cut this open here. Alright, so that's that. Okay, I have the triple tree. Uh, supported on this plate here because when you rest it on here you're gonna you know hit it with a hammer and there's nothing supporting underneath here so I just got a plate we'll just rest that on there okay um, there's two dust seals um, this one is for the top and it obviously won't fit on the bottom so that's process of elimination here so go ahead and put the seal on first and again same thing with the bearings uh, this guy will only fit on the bottom here, but first we need to pack it. Okay, so you could pack these by hand or what I have here is a bearing packer. So you just kind of plop this in here and it forces the grease up in here. All right, the grease is kind of old in this guy. Now you can pack it by hand, but that's that's no fun, right? And it looks like I'm getting messy anyhow. So anyway, let's I'm gonna take some of that grease off there. Okay, now we'll just flip the bearing on here. Okay, now I found a pipe in my scrap pile that fits perfect on the inner race. Okay, you want to pound on the inner race. So see right here, that fits on the inner race here, okay? So we'll just come over here like so, and give this a couple, couple of taps, all right? And I felt that solid hit and I also heard it. So that bearing is all the way down. It's all greased up, spins nice. Okay, now we gotta take the races out of the frame and what I'm gonna use is just a punch or this is just a half inch uh, steel rod and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna angle it and get it right on the edge and then just tap it. And I should probably sharpen this guy a little bit but let's just do it. Okay, it's coming up and then what you can do is work each side, okay? Same thing for the bottom one, just kinda get on the lip here. Okay, so here's the new bearing race, and I have a bearing race driver. Um, this seems to be the best fitting one. I mean, normally you want this race to go all the way in, but this is 
like a standard set, American standard, and then this is all metric. So anyway, we're gonna square that up as best as I can, and we'll give it a couple light taps to see it. Make sure it's going in straight. Hear that nice solid hit. So it's all the way in and it looks even all the way around. So that's that's good. All right, here's the top one. This guy's a little loose, but it does catch the outer lip of this bearing, so it'll work. Okay, it's pretty square. warm now? Yeah. Now you, now you can restart. Yeah? No, you just you try it outside, Dad. Okay, so we can insert this assembly here. Right up there. Put our bearing, and I packed this one too with that little tool that I had. So this is nice and packed. Okay, put that in there. Then we got this seal, right? Put that on. Let me wipe my hands. Make sure that I get this guy on. Alright, so at least that won't drop. Alright, so we'll tighten this down. Okay, and then after you spin it for a while, uh, that will just seat the bearings a little bit. I just go really hand tight on that, make sure there is no play. It rotates freely, and then that's pretty much it. So at this point, you can assemble the top tree, um, but I am waiting for that washer, so this video will end right here. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Stay tuned. We're going to be firing this up real soon. I need to go get some race gas, mix up some fuel add the fluids, and then we'll be ready to fire this thing up real soon.